Good morning, good afternoon to all. I hope everyone is doing well, especially in the current world conditions we're in. I'm Gus Galindo, Apps Engineer here at Chroma. And today we will be going over our Battery Pro software solution, which is used to control our regenerative battery test systems. I have a collection of slides which I will go through and hopefully give you a better understanding of the many functions represented by our software. For those that are unfamiliar with Chroma, we offer a variety of power testing equipment such as AC and DC sources, AC and DC loads, and power meters. We also offer electric safety equipment such as high pots and ground bond testers. One thing that sets Chroma apart is the capability to offer automated solutions. We can integrate many of the instruments I just listed, a test harness slash fixture to connect to your UUT, and a software platform to control it all. For today's seminar, we will focus on the battery cyclers and simulators. We will touch on the industries and applications served with our battery cyclers and go over some of the characteristics of our two regenerative battery pack test systems, the 17020 and 17040. Our goal will be to introduce you to the software that drives our cycles, cyclers, which is Battery Pro and Battery Simulator, which are both LabVIEW derived. Battery cyclers such as our 17020 and 17040 units are generally used to perform drive cycle testing of batteries and capacitors. A test program or recipe will normally have charge and discharge test commands. Listed are the industries applicable for our testers. Electric vehicle and automotive, battery, fuel cell, capacitors, DC motors, battery simulation, and manufacturers of handheld portable devices. Also listed are those who would carry our test systems, R&D, designers, manufacturers, test and certification labs, and universities. Also, anyone developing and manufacturing electrical devices. As I mentioned, we have our two series, the 17020 and 17040. The 17020 is the mid power range test solution for battery testing. And the 1740 is the high power range for battery testing. Voltages range up to 1000 volts, current ranges up to 2600 amps, and power level starting from the 600 watt level with our 17020 family, all the way up to our 180 kilowatt unit in our 17040. We can also parallel two of our 180 kilowatt 17040s to have a 360 watt capacity. A key feature that both systems have is that they are regenerative. What that means is that whenever a discharge or loading is taking place, the energy will go back to the grid instead of dissipating as heat. This will be especially helpful during those hot summer days where a user will save a lot in their electric bill. Also, on a multi-channel test where one channel is discharging and another, dis and another charging, the discharging channel will be used to provide power to the charging channel as pictured in this illustration. First, I will go over the 17020 system. The test, this test system is used mainly for testing battery modules or packs. We have seven current models, a 600 watt, two 1.25 kilowatts, and four 2.5 kilowatt models with varying voltage and current ranges. Pictured is a 48 channel test system. Our channels are equipped for paralleling for higher current outputs. Modes of operation include constant current, constant voltage, constant power, and an amalgamation of constant current, constant voltage. Remote sense and drive cables are 
included in this test system, as well as an AC panel with an EPO switch, emergency power off. The 1720 is made up of three main instruments. The controller is used to provide all the charge discharge commands from the PC via Battery Pro. This controller can be used to control up to 64 channels. The bi-directional converter, the second unit, is used to provide the main DC bus voltage for the tester and regens energy back to the grid. Lastly, the third unit is the charge discharge tester, which is used to connect to the unit under test with its drive and sense cabling. One of the features of the 1720 is the quick response of the tester when switching from maximum charge to maximum discharging with a 50 millisecond trip time. Smooth current is also observed when transitioning to limit the overshoot and protect the battery. Another feature is the embedded temperature measurement function, which allows the user to capture up to eight points on a unit under test surface for data acquisition and logic control options. Parallel testing. Batteries have various capacity configurations. Customers may purchase higher power test systems to provide for all these configurations, but may not have high measurement accuracy. Using Chroma 17020, customers can test on a single channel or variations of parallel configurations from a base system configuration. The, the diagram illustrates how we can configure the tester into two completely different scenarios. One in which 16 batteries at 10 amp hours are tested and another scenario where we can test eight batteries at 20 amp hours. This slide showcases the many power levels of our 17040 test system. These units range from 60 kilowatts to 300 kilowatts and have a voltage range of 45 to 1,000 volts. The multiple voltage current ranges provided uh, provide optimum solution or resolution. Parallel function is also available for higher current Modes of operation include constant current, constant voltage, constant power, and a, again, a constant current, constant voltage. And an AC panel is also included, which has the EPO or emergency power off switch. The feature in the 17040, similar to the 1720, is the boast of a smooth current to deter high overshoots thereby safeguarding the battery. Overshoot is less than 1%. The current switching time is incredibly fast from max charge to max discharge. This is a screenshot of the main menu of Battery Pro, the software used for charge and discharging batteries. Just to reiterate, this software can be used by both the 17020 and 17040 models. Functions included are the hardware configuration for paralleling channels and integrating equipment, the UUT setup for setting min max settings values for a particular UUT, the recipe editor where we will create our test program slash recipe, the recipe executor where recipes will be run, the report, the section where we can set up report configurations and management tab, which is a section to add more users and clearance for those users. The hardware configuration in Battery Pro is used to integrate other battery testing equipment, such as temperature chambers, data loggers, and BMS communication units. These, these external devices can be used to set up signals which will allow the user to make logic-based commands against those signals for cutoff conditions and protections. The next function, the UUT setup, 
will be used to set up ranges for your electrical parameters, such as voltage, current, power, for a particular unit under test. For users with different types of UUTs, this will help in the organization on which settings would be applicable for certain UUTs. This section also allows the user to set up BMS signals or import them in a DBC file if applicable. The place where most of the fun takes place in Battery Pro is the recipe editor. As you can see on the left hand side, we have a multitude of charge discharge commands. By double clicking on them, we can add those commands to our recipe to create a multi-step program. We can add in cutoff conditions for when the UUT has reached its desired state, and we can also set protection conditions to safeguard the UUT from abnormal conditions. If applicable, we can also utilize signals coming from a data logger, BMS, data communication unit, or temperature chamber to create logic-based control. Under our dynamic test mode, we can drive our test with a waveform via Excel spreadsheet populated values. Using the waveform, we will simulate a driving cycle with respect to current or power. We can enter more than 10,000 values in our Excel spreadsheet, and the waveform can respond to those values in 10 millisecond pulse intervals. The recipe editor also has a step command for DCIR testing where the DCIR value is calculated from two current discharges. Logic-based jumps, loops, and cycles can also be instituted into the recipe. We can set up loops up to 10,000 counts. Safety is always key with testing, and our testers offer multiple levels of protection. Battery Pro can put into place safeguards with regards to the data loggers, temperature chamber, and BMS signals. Firmware protection parameters allow us to set protection parameters in the hardware. And finally, component limitations on the hardware purchase will also impose restrictions. Tower lights can also be integrated to the test system to signal when a test is running. In Battery Pro, the recipe executor is where we will load our recipe to run. This is the window to our recipe executor where a user can run a single or multiple channels simultaneously or at different instances. A user can also execute various recipes for different channels. The window present is the default way to view the data as it is coming in in real time. You'll notice measurements for essentials such as voltage, current, capacity, and more. The following window is an optional way to view the data as the test is being conducted. Graphical representations of your voltage, current, capacity, and more can be viewed in this window. Also available to view at the same time is the data in regards to a table as the values populate through the test the user has the ability to deselect parameters they have no interest in viewing live. This slide outlines BMS and data logger signals being captured during a typical test run. You'll also notice values associated to a particular step with regards to how long it's been running and what loop it is on if applicable. The step setting on the bottom right illustrates our cutoff conditions annotated by the letter C. The step setting and information will change as a test goes through different steps. For reporting, we have a nifty function that allows the user to customize the main components of a report, which in our case is the header, data graph, and data table. Hundreds of variables measured and user defined are available to add into said components. These variables can be left in for certain reports and omitted for other reports when not needed. In our management function, we can set up multiple users 
for Battery Pro with different levels of access. For example, a technician profile can be created to simply run tests and output reports. We can also set up a supervisor level which has access to all areas of Battery Pro. A user can also set up automatic email notifications whenever a protection alert a la OVP over voltage protection should be triggered during testing. This is a screenshot of our battery simulator software, a graphical user interface to set up the characteristics of a battery and simulate them. Here we can set up linear slash basic curves of the battery. Dynamic battery curves can also be set up in the form of open circuit voltage versus state of charge or capacity conditions. To do the dynamic testing, an Excel spreadsheet is brought in with values representing voltage, state of charge, or capacity. In the battery simulator setup, we can set pack configurations for series and paralleling based on the battery curve in the previous slide. Protections can be set with regards to the SOC or OCV nomenclature. Initial conditions of the battery can also be placed onto the simulation in case a user wanted to demonstrate a specific state in the life of the battery. The efficiency of the battery can also be adjusted to a percentage. And a pre-charge will allow the user to slowly ramp up to the desired initial state of the battery being simulated. Lastly, our battery simulator software has an option on what type of report to output with regards to test runs. We have Excel, CSV, and text files outputs available. Pictured is a sample report of a test run. Notice the variables captured. The following diagram illustrates how a 17040 can be used in the EV world to test major components in an electric vehicle. Notice how having both Battery Pro and Battery Simulator softwares simplifies the need for more equipment. Thanks to all those that viewed the part, this presentation, and if you have any application questions, feel free to email me at my email, gusg at chromausa.com, or if you have any sales questions, feel free to also call in to 949-600-6400. Again, have a great day. Goodbye.